Alex, maybe you can bring some positivity to the robot's life. 60 seconds starts now. My complaint is about Marvel. I think there's too much Marvel stuff out there. And Marvel, instead of being like, I have to convince you to watch this movie or watch this TV show that I'm putting out, Marvel's like, screw you, consumer. If you haven't watched three TV shows, each at least like six cumulative hours in length, you won't understand what's happening in the next movie. You'll be completely lost. Like, I've been told, like, I need to watch Falcon and Winter Soldier. I need to also watch Loki in order to understand what Doctor Strange is even up to. I just want to go to the movie theater every you know three to four months as a good citizen consumer and buy my required ticket to my marvel movie and understand what's going on from what i've seen in theaters i don't want to have to also watch 18 hours of television with like tom hiddleston really putting his all into it although you know bless tom hiddleston former taylor swift uh Dude, like, seems like a chill guy. This is a strange tangent. Hope the robot likes Tom Hiddleston, because I'm sure talking about him. Um, anyway, the point is, I, I shouldn't have to watch all of this in order to understand what's going on. All right, Matt, you have the thir- first challenge, 30 seconds. Let me start off by saying I'm still mad at Tom Hiddleston for that awful Hank Williams biopic that nothing ever really became of it. That was terrible, and he only got the part because he was dating Taylor Swift at the time. That being said, I got no problem with the Marvel Universe. I think there's a huge fan base with everything that they want to follow along. What I don't like is that sort of snippy decision. You kind of alluded to, Alexandra, of the you have to watch this in order to know this. You have to watch this in order to follow along. I will go on YouTube. I will find a brief synopsis that will catch me up so I know what's going on to watch this show. I did that with WandaVision. Uh, my partner and I watched like a 12-minute video, caught us up to speed as what we had to know going into the show. I ended up loving WandaVision, and I hope it sweeps the Emmys. All right, Miho, your 30-second challenge. Um, Yeah, no, I'm totally against that. Like, I don't think there's enough Marvel content, especially for, like, someone who's... Uh, like incredible like i'm pretty busy so i don't got time to read all the comics if i could watch six hours of a show that gives me pretty much what's going on in the marvel cinematic universe like i'll do that instead of reading the comics because the comic lore is so long so i i want more of it and and like as far as disney's concerned they made like 60 million dollars just for subscriptions on this last low-key season so like kudos to them like it's just they're fighting the streaming wars, which is great. And Alex, your 30-second rebuttal. So I have to say, I also loved WandaVision. So maybe I should just buckle down and watch it. But I hate feeling like I have to. So I missed a single Marvel movie in theaters. I didn't see Captain Marvel. And then the next one I got to, they had all these scrolls around. And I'm like, I'm supposed to know what these scrolls are doing. I'm supposed to... And so you miss one beat and suddenly you're lost. That's my only complaint. I want to be able to miss like two movies a year or one TV show a year and not be totally adrift. That's all I'm asking for, Marvel. I hope you'll understand it. All right, it's time for reckoning to see if our robot overlord will bless us with points today. Let's start with this. Yeah. Okay. Nine, eight, seven, oh God. six, five, the DC fan four, watch. Three, two, one. <laughs> it just sounds like Rhythm Nation's going to start every time that thing plays. All right, Alex, you are making some progress. It's giving you a zero. So, <laughs> not negative. Uh, Matt, it's giving you a negative two. There it is. <laughs> and Miho, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You're getting nine points. Oh! Wow! Right. Miho getting positive points. This is Master Debaters, the show where the best argument wins. From 550 KTSA and FM 1071.